Hey Elonites, welcome to the Tesla space where we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk. 2020 has been a record year for Tesla on all fronts. There is no doubt that 2020 will be a landmark in this company's history that will always be looked back on as the year that Tesla finally hit it big. We've seen their stock price and company value kick off and fly sky high. We've seen record numbers of vehicles produced, the launch of the very popular, if not somewhat troubled, Model Y SUV, massive factory expansion all over the world, groundbreaking developments in battery production technology, a push towards sustainable household electricity, and another big step toward fully autonomous vehicle capabilities. Not to mention that all of this was accomplished in the midst of the greatest international crisis situation that we have seen in decades. Just looking at measures like stock value, it might seem like this all happened overnight, but the groundwork for all of this success in 2020 had been laid down for years prior to this. The cool thing about Tesla is that this company is very easy to understand, and that's because they are working on one singular and very simple goal, to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Every single move that the company makes is in support of that one mission. Everyone knows that the world cannot be changed overnight. Well, not for good, at least. I guess you could change the world in a very horrible way very quickly, but anyways, you get me. So Tesla has been moving towards their goal step by step, expanding their reach, their product range, and their customer appeal. Start with a sports car, turn heads and get noticed. Turn that money into a high-end sports sedan and get influential people behind the wheel of it. Put out a luxury SUV that showcases the tech this company has to offer. Turn that profit into a mid-range sedan to break into the mass market. Follow it with a crossover SUV to capitalize on market trends. Show the world a pickup like they have never seen before with capabilities beyond anything else in the market. And doing all of this while revolutionizing home energy with household battery packs and solar roofs. While changing the way we move goods by replacing the diesel transport with a fully electric and autonomous semi truck and bringing everything they've learned about sustainability to their manufacturing and design. When you follow the path backwards through time, you realize that Tesla has been probably the most important company on earth for years. 2020 is just the time that the rest of the world finally woke up and took notice. But why is that? Why now? Let's start in late 2019 with the Cybertruck event because this set the stage for the 2020 success. Everything about this unveiling was built to grab people's attention and get them talking about Tesla. Elon knew exactly what he was doing on that stage, wearing his excellent jacket, standing in a cloud of smoke and laser lights and fireballs as he represented this raw, stainless steel behemoth of a vehicle that looked more like a sci-fi movie prop than a pickup truck. Everything, even possibly down to breaking the unbreakable glass, was designed to generate hype around a company that was desperately in need of some hype. That's how Tesla operates. They don't make commercials or advertisements. They just send Elon out to do something crazy and then let the media take care of the rest. And it worked. If you look at a graph of Tesla's stock value, you'll see a fairly stagnant straight line. Tesla's valuation on the first day they went public in 2015 is the same value they were at in mid-2019. But you can see the point where that line starts to break and it is November 2019, the same month as the Cybertruck was announced. That all leads into a great start for Tesla in 2020. They were expanding and building factories in Nevada and Shanghai with plans for more construction to happen in Texas and Berlin. They were approaching the release of a new vehicle that was already in production. And Elon Musk was making bank as Tesla became the world's second most valuable automaker. Then February comes along and well, you all know what happened. As global uncertainty rose, the stock markets crashed. Shit was looking very, very bleak. But Tesla remained relatively unfazed by global events, which is probably a key to their success. In the midst of all this turmoil, on March 13th, Tesla started delivering the Model Y long range and performance versions. Not only was Tesla delivering a vehicle on time for once, they were even getting these cars out earlier than most people had expected, and in the face of a global crisis. 
The Model Y is huge for Tesla. I mean, it's easily their least exciting vehicle they've produced, but it is by far their most practical car to date. America is the number one market for vehicle sales in the world, and Americans don't like small cars. They like SUVs and pickup trucks. Tesla has made the Model X SUV for years, and it's dope, but it is also extremely expensive. So that's out of range for most people. They have the more affordable Model 3, but just like a regular sedan, it's not particularly useful as a suburban family hauling, grocery getting, do everything vehicle. So the Model Y is the car that bridges that gap and opens up a whole new market segment to consider Tesla as an option when they're shopping for a new car. Yes, there have been some issues with the production of the Model Y, and that's not great as someone who wants to see Tesla succeed. It's frustrating to see issues with quality. Maybe one roof did come flying off, and that's bad, obviously. But the fact is the majority of Model Y owners have been very satisfied with the car and it's done great things for Tesla as a company. I honestly believe that the timing of the Model Y release is a major factor in what kept Tesla on the rise this year. While everyone else was panicking, Tesla was delivering cars. That's the kind of move that instills confidence in a brand. Speaking of confidence, we have to look at Mr. Musk himself as another key to success this year. Elon was pretty much unfazed by everything that unfolded during the spring of 2020, and it was something he was criticized heavily for. Downplaying the severity of the global crisis was a risky move that really could have backfired on him, but being Elon, he made it work. He even turned April 20th into hashtag Elon Musk Day with his baffling love for 420 jokes. But shit got very real for Elon in May 2020, when his SpaceX company successfully launched astronauts into space on a Falcon 9 rocket and delivered them to the International Space Station. This marked the first time a private company had flown NASA astronauts and it cemented SpaceX as the global leader in aerospace technology. This is a company Elon founded just 18 years ago on pretty much nothing more than hopes and dreams, and now they are launching human beings into space. It's honestly wild. And if that wasn't enough, Elon rounded out his summer with a Neuralink showcase in August. This is yet another of Elon's companies, and Neuralink specializes in computer brain implants that will hopefully one day allow us to correct neurological diseases and disorders ranging from Parkinson's to schizophrenia. On August 29th, Elon showed off a herd of pigs that had been implanted with Neuralink devices. It wasn't anything groundbreaking just yet, but he did prove that the implant could be successfully installed and removed without hurting the pig, and that the implant could actually read information from the animal's nervous system. Even though these things have nothing to do with Tesla directly, the fact is that for better or worse, Tesla and Elon are permanently linked together in terms of public perception and business success. Elon Musk's larger than life mad scientist rogue billionaire persona has always been and will always be directly associated with Tesla. There is absolutely a cult of Elon and they drive a lot of Tesla's success. People buy the cars because they buy into Elon's vision of the future. The fact that Elon has been having a good year has to be factored into Tesla's success in the same year. From June onward, Tesla's stock price shot off like a rocket. Yes, pun intended. And not only did it go above that February peak, by August they had doubled it. It also helps that Tesla moved ahead with construction on two new gigafactories over the summer, one in Texas that will eventually produce the Cybertruck, and another in Berlin that handles the next generation Model Y production for Europe. That all leads into battery day in September, when Elon is back on the stage repping Tesla and their latest product developments yet again. This event is significantly less flashy than 2019's Cybertruck rollout. He's basically just standing on a tiny stage in a parking lot speaking to a fleet of Tesla cars parked in front of him, but the significance of what he's announcing is no less important. For most of 2020, there has been talk around what new battery tech we were going to see coming from Tesla. We knew it was going to be something special because we had seen announcements like the Tesla Semi, the Roadster, the Cybertruck. To actually achieve the performance from these vehicles that Tesla had claimed, then there would need to be a step up in battery technology to support them. And that's exactly what we got. Not only did Tesla show us an all new battery design, the 4680 cell, they also showed us a new method for battery production by changing up the materials and the production method used in making electric car batteries 
Tesla can now make more batteries in a shorter time and for less money than ever before. This is a major step towards getting the price of an electric vehicle down to the level where pretty much anyone would be able to afford one. The battery has always been the most expensive, most time consuming factor in electric vehicle manufacturing and Tesla are now well on their way to solving that problem. And all that comes back to that company goal that we started with, accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. It's not enough to just make an electric car in the way that so many of their competitors are doing. To accelerate that transition away from fossil fuel, Tesla is working towards electric cars that are practical, affordable, simple cars that meet people's needs. And when they apply that same principle to household electricity, to manufacturing, to the transportation of materials and mass transit, that's how Tesla is going to change the world. It's coming sooner than most people think, but more and more people are starting to take notice and that's why Tesla has become so valuable in such a short time and why they are only going up from here. Please let us know your thoughts on Tesla's record setting year in the comment section below. Where do you think they'll go in 2021? If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.